to our glorious eternal God, Abba Father, Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit be the glory, honor, power, and praise now and forever. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Peace be unto you all, fellow children of the Most High, in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Amen. Message received through the unction of the Holy Spirit of God between 3 a.m. to 4.35 a.m., 2nd of July, 2014. Dear children of God, O Bride of Christ, are you ready for your bridegroom's arrival, or are you still in your slumber? Part 2. O Bride of Christ, you have been forewarned that if you are not ready, if you have not make yourself ready for such an important event as your wedding, then you are not in love with him, therefore are not worthy of him to be his bride, his wife. He is coming for those who are busy preparing for his coming, those who are expecting and are excited for this wedding to take place. These they will truly be the bride of Christ. They are those who devoted themselves to preparing for the wedding of the Lamb and have ditched pursuing other things of this world. So, who are the they who will be the true bride of Christ? They are those who put him first in their life. They are those who seek his face continuously, daily and frequently, every day without fail. These are those who put him first. These are those who put him first. They who put him on the highest pedestal of their life. They are those who exalt him in their life and surrendered themselves totally unto him without reservation. They are those who have no time for other things of this world. They are those who carry out his commandments. They are those who walk in his holy statutes and observe his holy precepts strictly. They are those who fear him with godly fear. They are those who tuned their ears to his still small voice. They are those who bothered to take every effort to go near to him and strive to maintain a deep, personal and intimate relationship with him without compromission. They are those who bothered to read and hear his holy word without fail in their daily lives and walk with him without fail. They are those who put their trust and obedience in him to follow his will and guidance through his Holy Spirit. They are those who choose to serve him wholeheartedly and worship him in spirit and in truth. They are those who seek to fall deeply in love with him increasingly and unceasingly. They are those who seek to glorify his holy name in all their deeds. They are those who live by his example and are willing to bear testimonies of him and for him at every opportunity. They are those whose lips do not fail to praise him, honor him, and glorify him always at soul level. They are those who would sacrifice themselves for him. They are those who would keep themselves holy and acceptable unto him. They are those who would not give themselves to other lovers, other gods. They are those who would not betray his love and faithfulness. They are those who would honor him with their lives, wealth, substances, and whatever he asks from them. They are those who would not hesitate to offer up to him whatever he requires of them. They are those who would not take his love for granted. They are those who would not take his death on the cross for them in vain. They are those who would reciprocate his love according to his word which is written for his bride to follow and adhere to. They are those who would not go weary of carrying their cross and follow him. They are those who would pursue him relentlessly. They are those who enjoy being in his presence and cannot wait for it to happen. They are those who would court him just as he courted her the bride. They are those who have ardently burning passion for him and desiring him every moment of their life. They are those who cannot get enough of him. They are those who yearn for him, thirst and hunger after him continuously. They are those who think of him day and night. They are those who immerse themselves continuously in his holy word and in his holy presence consistently. They are those who are mindful as to whether he is pleased with them or not. They are those who are constantly checking with him how his assessment on them. They are those who are mindful not to defile their wedding gown with spots and wrinkles. They are those who would offer up to him 
the first fruits of their life. They are those who seek to live up to his standard and expectations. They are those who are constantly washed in his holy blood, soaked in his glorious light, and bask in his divine love. They are those who seek to romance with him in constant fellowship and in communication constantly and consistently without fail. They are those who do not fail to ensure that their lamp is always filled with his holy oil and their flame of passion for the bridegroom burning vigorously and ardently without fail. They are those who wait patiently and vigilantly watching for his arrival constantly without feeling discouraged or weary. They are those who would persevere and press on unto his coming. They are those who would give up the pleasure of worldly lifestyle for his sake. They are those who take the divine betrothal seriously and have refused to be enticed by the seduction of other lovers, other gods.